here's the deal. We got a live Tam Fam audience. I just can't stop looking at this beautiful audience because okay. it is Snowmageddon, they say, outside today. <laughs> okay, so this is our love week. And in 2018, Lonnie Love shared with the world that she was in love, Aww. making it Instagram official Woo. and announcing it on her talk show, The Come Real. On Come on now. Five and a half years later, <laughs> we can't get enough of Lonnie and James's love story. From the red carpet to sharing date nights on the ground, there is no question this is love. And joining us, because I've never met him in person, uh -oh. I've just been cyber stalking their relationship <laughs> and all in their business on social media. Now, Tam Fam, James is in our house. Please welcome Lonnie's partner, James Webb! <laughs> laughing at you. Yeah, that's typical. And then she said, he's so nervous. James, sit down. <laughs> I, well, congratulations. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank Early you. Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so like many couples, you found love a little later in life, right? We was you, old. Yeah. <laughs> Lana, you were, you were in your 40s. James, you were in your 50s. Deep in my 40s. Deep in, yeah. <laughs> and you went on a dating app. We did. You did? Yes. What were you looking for on the, when you went on the app? Well, I was looking for... <laughs> <laughs> somebody who wiggles in the chair like she did before the commercial break. What were you looking for? I was looking for someone to uh, spend, you know, the rest, you know, the... the uh, I'm on the back nine, Tamara, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was looking for that special someone. I was looking for somebody to make love to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold back. Don't, Don't hold, hold back. back. So y'all had two different goals, yes. <laughs> to say the least. Yes. And you, the first date, you took him to see the movie Peppermint. Yes, because we met online, and I tell women, when you meet online, you have to be very, very um, protective. Right. So we talked for, like, over a month. And then I said, okay, well, he doesn't sound like a stalker or anybody like that, so <laughs> let's meet publicly. But I wanted to do it someplace that if I didn't like him, I could, like, you know, leave and it wouldn't right. be a Ditch big me. deal. Right. Yeah, so... <laughs> and so we went to the Peppermint premiere. Which is like an action... Dark, it wasn't romantic. Like, the Obamas no. went to see Do the Right Thing. Yeah, no, no, You no, know, no. their uh -huh. first date, no. famously. No. You took him no. to, like, an intense look, drama. Look, T, when you trying to, you know, get it on... <laughs> Take them someplace that's gonna rev it up. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, all right, all right. Since it's Love Week, I'm gonna go there. The first kiss. Ooh. Who, who made the move first? I did, of course. You did. <laughs> you did. James. A little shy sometimes. <laughs> Brown woman foundation on your face. <laughs> Something that I know you're used to. When she went in for the first kiss, mm. what did you think? Well, I was uh, very, uh, I was very happy about that, Cameron. I was, uh, I was, it was, I was welcoming. <laughs> Look at Lonnie looking at you. <laughs> See, one of the reasons that our relationship works so well is because I let Lonnie do most of the talk. <laughs> yes. so she, she answers most Very of the Very smart questions. man. What was, it, what was it about her? I mean, listen, I know why everyone loves Lonnie. <laughs> but, you know, you're coming into this. You were an actor as well. You've been in L.A. in the air. You know, folks. Lonnie has this larger-than-life, magnificent personality. Oh. And so you're walking into her world at, in so many ways. It's a partnership, but let's face it. It's Lonnie Love. Oh. Right. What was it, though, about the person not Lonnie Love? that you fell in love with. The funny How many thing... times can I say the word love? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The funny thing is, is I wasn't familiar with Lonnie's work. So we got to know each other on a, um, you know, just like two people getting to know each other. And I was thinking, you know, I was looking for what we had in common. Mm -hmm. And I liked her, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, 
we just got along so well. We're very compatible. Yeah. And I tell that when you're in when you're looking for love and you're older, look for compatibility, right. okay? Mm -hmm. That's so important. Yeah. Make sure that you guys are on the same level. And the thing is, is that people often ask us, are you guys going to get married? Are you guys going to get... I wasn't going to ask that, because I don't Thank care. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay, but to, to answer the I question... I will ask what happened after the first kiss, but I won't ask if you got Ooh, married. Well, you know what happened after the first kiss. This is a family show. My shirt is buttoned up all the way to my chin. We'll be right back. We've got more with Lottie and James, and they have dating advice for the Tan fam. We'll be right back. Music on! Help! Someone help anyone! Oh, there's no need to leave the villain, Loveless. Locked up tight, Lex. Oh. All right, this is not good. I know, right? It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> We're back with Lonnie Love and James Wells. That is Lonnie's new film, MTV's Binge to Death, where she plays a fan of reality TV and she forces couples who've broken up to, into one home. Mm -hmm. So you play like a, a, a stalkery I'm a, fan. Yeah, I'm a psycho. A psycho yeah. fan. <laughs> James, what is it like to see her in a role like that? It was a little scary. It was a little scary? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous because, uh, you know, I don't know how much method acting she gets into. <laughs> but uh, everything was fine. Everything was fine. Yeah, you are great. so good in this. Thank I, you. I mean, you are so multi talented. In addition to that, y'all give out love advice to people on the line. So we've got a couple of members of the TAM fam. I'm going to go over here. Okay. And what? Oh, they, I forgot the mic. It's live. It's a live TV show. It's a live TV show in the middle of winter. Today, no, don't you do okay. that to me. Okay. Come on, Amber. Come on. You have a question. All right. Come on, stand up. Where are you from? I'm from the Bronx. The Bronx. BX. All right. Tell us your question. Yes. Yeah, so I'm currently in a relationship, um, but I'm a little worried only because I feel like I'm losing myself while also being more focused on my partner. So how would oh. I go about navigating, staying true to myself while also... That's a great, also great question. That's a great them. question. Yeah, you want love, but you don't want to lose yourself in the love. Advice, James? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, finding things to do together, okay. but also having separate, yeah. you know, interests, like yeah. activities, you know, hobbies and stuff. Yeah, like, I, I go out drinking, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, and, so you know, and I have girl night. I make sure that I have... You know, you don't want to lose yourself, so remember, whatever you like to continue to do it, and then, you know, make sure that your partner is doing what he needs to do, and then y'all come together, and you'll be okay. But always dedicate some time to yourself. All right, Isaac. Your Isaac. Come on, stand up. Okay, where are you from? Well, I'm from West Virginia, but oh. I live in Brooklyn now. Okay, right, Brooklyn, uh, cross country. All right, tell us what your question is. Okay, so my evil ex recently like <laughs> re-entered my social circle, oh, uh -huh. and I'm wondering how do I like live in the now with him like buzzing in my ear, oh. you know? I, I have an opinion on that. Oh, come on, come on. Your friends have to pick a team. They have to pick a team. Yeah. If, if he's an evil ex, they mm -hmm. got to pick a team. Sorry, I'm answering yeah. that. We got no. one more. Pick yeah. a team. <laughs> <laughs> they got to pick a team. Saying? And if they don't pick a team, you call me, I'll be your friend and dump them. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll be your love. friend, too. So. Yeah, we'll, Lonnie and I will be your friend, mm -hmm. if he's really evil, or they really, whatever. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Darla, what's your question? So, I've been married for 10 years, and one of the things that I'm interested in oh. knowing is how do you remember what you love about your partner oh. when you're in the middle of that fight? Oh, great question! <laughs> Lonnie? <laughs> You know, you remember why you, you first met that person, you know, and their kindness and what they mean to you. And also, it's really important to think about what would happen if they were out of your life. Oh. Ooh, you think good. like that, and then you're like, okay, you know. And as long as you keep that mutual respect uh, with each other, you'll be fine. I love oh, that. That's that's Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I love that, Lonnie. That's 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 sit next to my new best friend here. But before we go, Lonnie always asks me about Moses. Every time I post a picture of this child, yes. she has something to say. It's a snow day in New York, so somebody is at home playing video games but wanted to send a message. Take a look. Oh! Happy Valentine's Day, Lonnie and Jimmy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so 
Lottie and James, basically he said happy Valentine's Day, and that's more than he's ever talked to me while playing that video game. So we love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Be sure to catch Lottie's movie, Binge to Death, out now on MTV and on Video Demand. Lottie's also going on a comedy tour. And remember the HBCU First Look Film Festival, accepting submissions. Go to TamanHallShow.com.